Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, and welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. We have with us today Scott Richardson, President of the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce and Principal of, let me get this right, mm -hmm. Gorman Richardson Lewis Architects. Kind of the, the it's a mouthful. Busiest yeah. <laughs> architects in Metro West, I'd say. <laughs> We're busy. Things yeah. are busy. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. And you've got sure. a pretty rich history in Hopkinton. Yes, long been here a long time. Yeah, a long time. I mean, you just celebrated your fortieth year. Fortieth anniversary of the firm. Uh, been in Hopkinton about uh, half of that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other half was been, was in Ashland. So yeah, we the firm's been here twenty years. I've been uh, involved in Hopkinton probably about thirty four years. Wow. Yeah. So what brought and you to Hopkinton in the beginning? So uh, originally came up to Boston to go to college. I mm -hmm. uh, went to the Boston Architectural College, actually met my partner, my uh, original business partner, Mike Gorman, mm -hmm. there. Uh, and then slowly just kind of moved west as I got, had a, got married and had Boston a family. Ar so Architectural College? Boston Architectural College, yeah, yeah on oh. Newbury Street. Yep. Mm -hmm. So originally lived in, New in Boston, then Newton, then Ashland, and then Hopkinton. And then yeah. Hopkinton. Yeah. So we have family in Connecticut, so it was, you know, kind of for transportation and so on. It was, you know, good location. And again, and Hopkinton a, is a fabulous location. A lot of kids go to school in Hopkinton. Well, we have 13 kids, yeah. Wow. <laughs> and, you know, and I didn't know When you break it in double digits. Ago, right. I think we were semi-neighbors. Didn't, didn't your family used to live on the corner of Elm and... Wood and Elm, yeah. yeah that's the, yeah. the house. Yellow yeah, house. Big house. Yeah. 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 The complex it used to look yes. like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Always adding on for uh, more space. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So. 13 children. Well, that's yes. a whole show in itself, that I'm is, sure. That is. <laughs> I, I always said... You can have a whole series. <laughs> right. yeah. I always said I went to, uh, I went to work to relax. Right. There you go. <laughs> there no you matter go. how busy you are. Well, I gotta so. add, the age ranges of, these, of the So kids. the oldest is 40. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Actually, no, for, uh, 41 now. You're young. Yeah, for yeah. And the, and the last two were actually twins. Oh. That so helped. They're, so yeah. they're 16. They're so six that was kind of exciting. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. Wow. Well, yeah. you know, kudos to you, Dad. Yeah. It was, been, it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. Lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. And so are, are the kids here? Or where Most are they? everyone's here except for one uh, is out in California. Oh, Any cool. architects among them? Uh, actually, my 19 year old is now working for us. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah so fine. Uh, several of them have worked for us over the years, but not in kind of in an architectural capacity. But he's very interested in architecture, looking to go to UMass. Uh, uh, Amherst in the in the yeah. next fall. So oh, yeah, good. I've yeah. I've got an architect in my family. My son's uh -huh. an architect, oh, so yeah. love it. You yeah. know. So it's exciting. Yeah. So a little bit um, about your business. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of architecture do you guys typically practice? Yeah. Commercial, so uh, uh, residential, everything. It's a mixture. Again, we started off again forty years ago doing primarily residential work. We did a lot of houses in the Metro West area, uh, but then slowly grew into the corporate and commercial. Uh, we started working with EMC in 1987. Wow! So we've done That's over, cool. yeah, we've done That's really a cool. lot That's a of work <laughs> for them, over four and a half million square feet for wow. them over the years. So nice. we did we did their facilities, uh, most of their facilities on South Street, down in Franklin, Southboro, Westboro. Wow! So and one community yeah. facility that we love that you did is the HCA. Oh. Yeah, it was a, it's a so long-term project. Yes, very proud Gorgeous. now that it's... Labor of love, really, yeah, I'm really. sure. Yeah, yeah, we worked on that for a long, long time. Well, because that was a little bit of um, not true restoration, but it was how do you fit into that space and what it was. Correct, and, and, and then just the renovation of the barn itself. Right. First of all, basically looking at it in the first, you know, many years ago, it's like, well, this is in really bad shape. You're really... Is it salvageable? But mm -hmm. you know, through a couple of phases of uh, restoration and uh, uh, remedial work, uh, got it to a point where hey, yeah, it's it is s stable. Uh, new foundation system, new some some new structural systems. You know, setting the stage for the subsequent renovations. Yeah, and so, it's a yeah. huge, huge asset to the It town. is. It really I mean, is. It really is something yeah. special. And you know, you had your 40th anniversary party there. Yeah. And yeah. there you announced something very special you're doing this year. And I think it would be really cool for you to share about that. Yeah. Sure, sure. So uh, a lot of us uh, got together and did a little brainstorming. What can we do for, you know, that's kind of memorable and meaningful uh, for our 40th. So we came up with the 40 for 40, <coughs> excuse me, 40 for 40 program. So we're looking at, uh, we've done outreach to some nonprofits. Uh, and actually they've kind of come to us, so we're looking at doing 40 
uh, kind of pro bono projects uh, for whatever uh, nonprofit organization uh, is applicable. Uh, so we're working on some projects. Uh, we've done some work with the United Way, with uh, Metro West YMCA. Yes. Um, we're actually volunteering uh, next week uh, for Habitat for Humanity. Uh -huh. <coughs> the te yes. Tech Sandbox is sponsoring oh, this uh -huh. <coughs> this uh, Playhouse uh, yep. Build program. So uh, we're we're going to be participating in that. Um, so yeah. That's very cool. phenomenal. I mean, yeah. It's a wonderful very thing to do. It's kind of neat. And actually, we've been approached by some other uh, uh, colleagues of things that they're working on. Uh, one of them up is, is up in Lawrence. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been obviously wow. a big re revitalization yeah, in Lawrence. Yeah, in yeah. So a colleague of mine has a relationship with the Redevelopment Authority there. So they have something there they have in mind. So we're going to meet them. I mean, that, them. it's extremely generous. That is. It is. It yeah, is. well, again, we're not going to spend thousands parameters. of hours for but, one client, but right. spread it out. Yes. Yes. help out where we can yeah. uh, and again a lot of it has to do with uh, either uh, compliance uh, accessibility issues uh, kind of setting the stage for you know the next phase of renovation for a client so yeah very exciting so something very like exciting. that where you're saying compliance in the next stage like a building like center school that will end up a town asset in two years mm -hmm. that will not be a school mm -hmm. whatever it becomes is that their future home does it all have to be then turned into ADA compliance and everything? Yeah, well, that, that build that building it has you Already know some exist accessibility right. issues, yeah. but uh, yeah, I'd say once the town determines what they you know probably through a feasibility study, what they mm -hmm. want to do with it, then uh, you know town will either vote yay or nay, right. and then cool. proceed. Very yeah, cool. So. So you have another hat you wear. <laughs> yes. And you're president. And kind of uh, how we've all gotten to know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I've known you for years, yeah. you know, on sure. and off for a variety of things. But, right. um, but you are president of the Hopkins and Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Uh, oh, Relu the involved. reluctant yeah. president. Stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> but only because nobody else kind of, you know, every year we say, okay, well, you Who know, I've been doing to? this for a long time, uh, for quite a while. <laughs> Anybody else want to step up? But. Yeah. Um, it kind of kind of works. Uh, again, we have really good uh, group, you know, subcommittees that address various aspects. Again, with Darlene and Doris and uh, Kate coming forward and really reformulating the events committee, that's been really helpful. Um, so again, we're really we're here. Uh, the chamber's here to help uh, assist any business either in town or looking to come into town. Uh, they want to know any kind of permitting process. They have issues with. I'm just understanding how the town works, how town government works, what other assets of the town there are. So we're here to help. So well, how long it, have you been involved with the chamber prior to um, being in leadership? But probably probably about years? 15, 16 years. Okay. Yeah. And I was president way back when, and then they've gone through, you know, obviously yeah. the usual sequence. Mm -hmm. And then we got to a point where it's like everybody uh, one day kind of you know, the current president was leaving and then everybody just kind of turned to me and said, would you do it again? It do it again. <laughs> so I said, as long as I have the help, yeah. which is in critical, so, which is critical. So. so on, as for the mission of the chamber mm -hmm. um, and helping to promote businesses in town, mm -hmm. you do, uh, there are a number of things. You have a newsletter, you have some networking events, and yeah. there was recently one yeah. mm -hmm. that I was well attended. Mm -hmm. um, you do the Ribbon, you went to new businesses. Yeah, welcome to new businesses. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, we have a great so. big pair of scissors. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Uh, 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 so, uh, it seems like are ribbon cuttings every week. Yeah, <laughs> lately like, there's, there's been a lot of, a lot of new businesses. It's showing, you know, so, some rejuvenation of businesses, either, you know, celebrating a 30th anniversary in a new mm -hmm. location or yeah. just new businesses. And I know, you know, One Lumber Street is, th there'll probably be every other day we could have a new opening yeah. or a relocation there. So. We'll see what's going to happen at 24 May, and there should be something at some point. Yeah. I've seen you know, the so. growth of the chamber has been real evident over the mm -hmm. years. Now, we've yeah. lived here about nearly 20 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, where it used to be sort of a little group of a few guys, you know, is really emerged into a fully functional organization. Yeah, now. I think there's yeah. been, there's a little, again, there's new people getting involved, which yeah. is always important. Mm -hmm. uh, so, again, they have their ideas, they, ha they bring their uh, time and uh, thoughts and uh, ideas to, to the meetings. Uh, we're getting more, we have a really good reciprocal relationship with Town Hall. Oh, so yeah, we routinely yeah. have uh, monthly or every six weeks we have meetings with Norman and others okay. to number one see you know, what is uh, going on with certain projects, one of them being the downtown corridor improvements, mm -hmm. yeah, the streetscape right. improvements. Yeah. 
And so we are sponsoring uh, a forum uh, on October 13th, I believe it is, right. uh, in this building up at Richmond Group's office oh, okay. uh, to bring the businesses together to give them an update on what that is looking like. Excellent. Um, so that's, you know, that's an important wow. aspect that we can help facilitate. Uh, we are kind of the chamber committee of, uh, called 2020 mm -hmm. is the de facto economic arm of the, of the town. Mm -hmm. So we're, we, we, again, we focus on uh, coordinating with planning department and the building department on what projects are coming in, mm -hmm. what tenants might be coming in, how can we help them yeah. if, if we can, um, and just becoming up, getting up to speed on what, you know, what is going on awesome. well, as okay. far as development. And the membership Absolutely. is uh, wonderfully diverse in the sense mm -hmm. that it is both businesses here in town mm -hmm. and people who live in town mm -hmm. who yeah. have businesses else, elsewhere. Oh, you know, my yeah. business is in yeah. Newton, yeah. Mm -hmm. but you know, love the networking yeah. and connecting with people mm -hmm. and interacting mm -hmm. with people. And, and so a bit of a shout out, just because you don't have a business here in town mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't mean you shouldn't belong to the chamber. You should really consider mm -hmm. belonging to the chamber. Uh, for all the access point. and connecting and networking mm -hmm. and yeah. testament yeah. last week's networking yeah. event or yeah. this week's whatever it yeah. was it's been a long week, yeah. Um, yeah, this week. was was fabulous yeah, and well, well attended yeah. and a really broad spectrum of people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i think you know the chambers also embrace not only just other businesses but um wanting to be almost a welcoming arm they've created yeah. a piece right. of literature that mm -hmm. you know you know, yes. realtors will be able to have out at open houses that show kind of what's going on in town that um, member businesses can have and showcase, you know, here, this is what I'm part of. And they've also done some outreach, even when we've done shopping for the cause and things like that and the other things that chambers helped with a lot of charitable outreaches. Absolutely. And that, you know, knowing, you know, what's going on in town. I know the chamber's been involved with the respite center and mm -hmm. been involved with, you know, Project Just Because with what we've done with, you know, mm -hmm. our annual December event that, they want to be a link to businesses in the community overall. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. So what's it, what I find interesting too is that the businesses that you support don't have to be, you know, some people think chambers are your brick and mortar, you know, mm -hmm. type of businesses, so you mm -hmm. have those. And then even sole proprietors sure. and um, individual small businesses, yep. emerging businesses. I was thinking too, we should, we, we'll be sure to maybe get that um, brochure sure. and have it on you know maybe posted or if it's mm -hmm. online somewhere yeah we are we are it. as uh, Darlene mentioned uh, we are putting the fi final touches on a brochure all about Hopkinton yeah. the uh, you know business community town government it, it's, a, it's a really nice. fantastic resource yeah. for right. again current residents a, a good piece for attracting new residents and right. new businesses it's so. wildly exciting. I mean, yeah. I bring, when friends and family come to Hopkinton, mm -hmm. and you know, we've always just thought this is sleepy, bucolic, live in the woods kind of Hopkinton. Well, it was 35 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> but now, you know, going into Bittersweet for coffee. Mm -hmm. That my, my daughter's in New York City. She mm -hmm. comes to Bittersweet and goes, this is what you would find in Brooklyn. This yeah. is what you would find in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, she was shocked that it was here. Yeah. You know, our favorite, one of our favorite stores, Swoon, is around the corner. Mm -hmm. Lots of different restaurants. Yeah. There are places to go. There's yeah. things to do here. Yeah. Well, one thing. 110 Grill is 110 uh, grills. Yeah. Very, bu grills. very busy. And, very busy. And it's even yeah. um, existing businesses that have renovated. You mm -hmm. know, you think about Bills and then Yogurt mm. Beach. The kids are also yeah. finding there's more places for them to go and right. spend Beach. time right. at. Right. And I think that's yeah. also a, a key factor. So oh. it's not just for us, but it's for I the know. Kids. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I think a huge project at the chamber was extremely integral, and Scott in particular was the Gateway, Gateway Green Project. Green. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. That was, that's so, that's that amazing. Yeah, so you that's know. a real a project that we're really proud of. And again, uh, kudos to, to really to Peter Mezzet and yeah. Finn Perry yeah. for really Stepping keeping the ball rolling, it stepping happen. it up and making it happen. A lot so, of players yeah. were involved. Yeah. Boy, oh, yeah. those two were, were yeah. you know, yeah. the keystones so, uh, to make it yeah, happen. But yeah, that's a project we're all very proud of and that uh, will it continue really to be an asset. Already, <laughs> you, you know, driving by there, it's, you're just like, oh, it's an immediate impact yeah. and it's not even mature. You know? yeah. I, like, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I even yeah. noticed that, that greenway until it got all fancy. Until it became oh, see, I green. noticed it as an eyesore. I kept going, would somebody mow this or we yeah. 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 it over? Maybe I was just you know, blocking it, it out. the place that we would put up, you know, our, our, sign, sign, our signs right. for like pancake breakfasts and, yeah. and scout tree exactly. pickup. Yeah. 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 And you're like, you're like, please don't hit me, please don't hit me while you run across that. 
<laughs> yeah. So yeah, it went from a brown way to a green yeah. way. Yeah. 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 No, and really, so. a lot of kudos in the fact yeah. that the chamber really spearheaded But it's really also an example to other communities mm -hmm. because they, they actually worked with MassDOT mm -hmm. to do all this and now, you know, MassDOT is using Hoppington as an example of what other communities can do yeah. as a welcoming, sure. you know, a, and a gateway. And I think yeah. the chamber really took the lead on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, we have fabulous sponsors with Unibank, Paul Mastriani, yeah. mm -hmm. Western Nurseries. I mean, they really stepped up to the plate yeah. and uh, contributed, you know, time, money and uh, made it happen. Yeah. So, and again, don't forget downtown, we had the library underway. I, yeah. I so, love that. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's exciting. That's, so that's, another, so exciting. that's another one of my hats as well. Really? I've been on the library building committee oh, and really? the library foundation oh, for okay. a long time. Yeah. And uh, so it's been, uh, well, we've had our, our battles. Well, Fest is coming up. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Gosh, yeah. gotta so, get your tickets, tickets for that thing because it, it sells out fast. Yeah. 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 So again, once the library is completed, about a year from now, it'll be such an asset and a draw oh, yeah. for, for the know, community. You know, we had a lot happening right there around 77 Main, One Lumber. You know, mm -hmm. we had uh, out by South Street and mm -hmm. the whole um, building where Price Chopper is. But mm -hmm. the downtown is maybe a little less... Um, you know, as, as a focus. big, yeah, the well, no, it just yeah. wasn't like, you know, bulldozed down and right. big right. but there's nice little things happening, sure. you know, mm -hmm. the property right there on Main Street and, and what's going on there that the Mazers own, mm -hmm. right. you know, what will happen with the library, what mm -hmm. will happen with Center School, those yeah. are exciting things, yeah. and, oh, yeah. and, and I know the Chamber's happen. involved in discussions. And, and I know, and like when you mentioned the Mazers, people keep talking about parking downtown, they, but they put a big parking lot back there, it's like, Ruby yeah, open, to exactly. open to the public. Open to the public. You know, Kudos Swoon doesn't have, even though Swoon's always busy, they don't have <laughs> 24 cars there. Right. And that, you know, they, they don't, it's, it's open to the public. It's very easily walkable to everything else. Right. Absolutely. And it's right there. And when you, and it's, it's actually pretty back in there too. Like yeah. you're able to walk right through and you can see where you're going to be able to sit out and eat and things like mm -hmm. that. So it's nice. They made mm -hmm. some nice open space and, and that's, that's going to be a great community yeah. asset. Mm -hmm. and, and it's thrilling that they, you know, bothered to say this is public parking. This mm -hmm. isn't parking only for right, right, um, right. which is really that is nice. you know, very generous. generous. Yeah, definitely. So Thirteen kids, <laughs> chamber, your business, the I'm library. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just trying to picture your, actually your Christmas mantle. Like <laughs> 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 he must have like three of them to be able to hit. <laughs> Things are busy. Things are busy. <laughs> Things are busy. Yeah, yeah. 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 So a lot of fun. A lot um, of fun. Excellent. Do you have so. kids still in Hopkinton, or are they in Upton? Uh, yeah, no, there's some kids in Hopkinton. Mm -hmm. yeah. Still mm -hmm. in the schools? Yeah, you said 16-year-olds, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, well, again, uh, mm -hmm. my daughter, a couple of daughters live uh, in town, so they, yeah, their kids are in school. So. Any, cool. any and married? So You're a grandkid. Grand oh, yeah, I have, How 12, many? I have 12 grandkids. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> you, your what? family is pro. So right. Don't forget, my, my, I have a lot of adult kids. So <laughs> <they're> <laughs> and kids. So it's almost, it's almost... It's almost he even now. He was 12 when he first That's had his right. first child. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he was a teenage father. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Oh. That's so. awesome. So I good. just envisioned some picture of you and your family, all of them, you know, and grandchildren. Have you ever just had a it's stage? A big, ha haven't done that for a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that'd be good. You know, do, you do, 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 like, I think of, like, Thanksgiving, believe Thanksgiving it or not. Thanksgiving is my, not around the corner, but my it's around favorite, the corner. My favorite yeah. holiday. It's my favorite holiday. Yeah. Yeah. That's the herd holiday for me. Family and overflowing. Food. Yeah, it's all about the food and getting together with, with family. So. Chaos uh, and I'm always yeah. fascinated with like yeah. double digit families because you know I only had one sibling and I grew up in Ashland and there were several major kind of flagship families that had a lot of kids. The Irusis and the Featherstones and the I'm Angelinis sure. so, yeah. and so you're like you knew that it's one of your grades your siblings are going to be with one of them. Sure, <laughs> yeah. so well, like, I was one of so I'm one of five but mm -hmm. my mom was one of seven and many of her siblings. So mine wasn't, my family, my immediate family was large, but mm -hmm. the extended family so all the cousins. cousins. Yeah, oh, the cousins. we were, yeah. and, and many of my little siblings yeah. stayed in town. Mm -hmm. and, and so it was one of those, and my father grew up in town, and while his siblings didn't stay in town, they would come back. Mm -hmm. And yeah, mm -hmm. I, it was definitely. Yeah, well, it's like, fun. you know, people would say like. Instant party whenever you <laughs> sure. get together. Yeah. They always seem to like look out for each other. And then at the same time, you know, like, all, all like someone would say is, Oh, I'm David Irusi. I'm like, oh yeah, I know your older <laughs> brother. I know your sister. Sure. <laughs> so well, the nice thing is the cousin. You know, town. the cousins are you know really become really good friends. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And Close that's friends. and that's the I consider my, I'm sure your children, 
your your grandchildren probably are looking at each other yeah. and they view each other as <laughs> yeah even though we're related we're, we're good they're good friends. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah there's some neat. other big families in hopkinton i oh, mean yeah. big double yeah. digits yeah. Can, yeah. morning, morning star sure yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, 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 i can't think of any others off hand but you know mm -hmm. It's, it's rare these days. But yeah, it is. Who does to it you? Is. Yeah, a lot of fun. So. Well, I think it's time for, time for some local shout outs, Darlene. Well, What's well, happening well, around town for fun? Well, tonight is actually the first home opener of the high school football team. Woohoo! Not that, you know, um, so if you're watching this, you're not at the game. <laughs> <laughs> but, so um, get out there, get to the game. No. Tomorrow morning is the draw for that grocery store <gasps> dash the grocery that dash. the Lions, win. That the Lions the Club. Club. They know what, they have a winner? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. There's two winners. Okay. They're and announced I can't tomorrow. I can the names. No, no, All no, right. they've, they've been announced. Oh, okay. But, the, but at 9 o'clock. the dash is tomorrow. If you want to see it go, yeah. I'm going 9 o'clock. It's like it's on TV. Price that's Topper. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's fun. Tomorrow at the, um. Uh, late afternoon, early evening at the Hawkington Historical Society. Yes. Uh, they're honoring Joe Colella, and it's a free wine tasting oh, in an open right house on. there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think next Sunday, the 9th, is an open house at the uh, firehouse. You'll get to see the new ladder truck. <laughs> um, coming up, kids. that's close, that um, big, I'm very close friends with the director of it, is the Michaels 5K. Yep. Oh, okay. And so that'll be on the 15th. And I guess I'm hearing people are going to some chicken barbecue at the Woodville Ron and Gun Club. And then when I looked it up, it's the 85th an annual chicken barbecue at the Woodville Ron and Gun Club. <laughs> wow. 85 years. Yeah. That, that that that's been around for 88. <laughs> wow. But um, yes, wow. there's a lot going on. There's been a lot going on even on Real Housewives. There's a fun gala going coming up at the um, Hopkinton Country Club. I forget what the fundraiser for the Havana it's, Nights. Yeah, that um, looks hot. The Hopkinton Country Club actually has its own foundation. Yes, that's and right. And so they help regional families in need mm -hmm. and so there they have that come up there's a bunch of other 5ks coming up uh remax foundation has yes. one coming yes. up uh Project the hca is having one that is for uh, is a halloween one you can go and cost that, that sounds so, so cool. um, so there's a, there are a lot of 5ks if you're a runner um, I love that because we this is a runner town, you know. So yeah. having all these five yeah. K's is just yeah. perfect. And we ran that. We walked, walked the. Yeah, the <laughs> yeah, that's, that's we walked. Walk. <laughs> so usually, a five K is either run or walk. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's, you know, by the time you're yeah. chatting and yes. the five K, it just goes like that. Yeah. it's just not. Hey, that we did hot. it well under an hour. That's oh, yeah, that's, we did. That was you know, we walked it, but we were. We but were, we were we were hoofing. Yeah. Well, we're speaking huffing. of the HCA, their gala is coming up uh, November fifth. Right. Ah, so okay. People have probably gotten last last year. That was beautiful. Yeah, in that good. beautiful and, facility um, and they've started picking up some nice sponsors unibank again is you know is sponsoring that event so mm -hmm. that's really yeah. nice um, i hope unibank does its color thing color wheel well, this uh, holiday actually, season i really love that Real frankly Housewives of Hopkins have actually partnered with unibank on an event coming up on, yes and it's a ways out but it's tuesday october 25th not that far unibank away with um hank philippe ryan oh, oh that's right yeah. Yeah. and um marty's will be doing a free wine tasting it's a um Hey, Philippi will be speaking. She'll Say be book signed. again. It's October. Tuesday, the October twenty fifth. So um, we'll that we'll be promoting yeah. it up no. a bit. And um, when you talked about lighting up the thing, yeah, that night we're actually gonna the uh, the Unibank thing will light up pink. I love it. It's almost like our little you know Boston Sitco sign or something. You know, yeah. coming into Hopkins yeah, in the Greenway, that, and then that, you know the color light. I think it's. Cool. I actually like it. I like and it. I never like that. Some people yeah. that are naysayers and don't like it, but I think it's, it's their business and. Well, no, it's I think not shining. Yeah, yeah. I think it's cool. No, they have one in um, one of their newer locations in Sutton, and the entire town loves it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then here we have people who didn't yeah. like it. And You're so always going to have people yeah. who like it and don't like it. I, I think, I think cool, it's a fun welcome into town from yeah, the 495. Sure. This morning when I posted up, um, you know, we were doing the show today and that, you know, we'd have a Scott on. Um, I ironically had picked up the picture when I posted it was the one where we're all like this for the 300. Yeah, we all took it. And, oh, yeah. like and on Patricia's arm, it said, you know, um, 1,400 members. Well, I'm about to hit a button. And Amanda Reno. Yes, spell her name out because you get yeah. R E N E A U. We'll send you a private message. You she knows now, nothing about this, yeah. by the way. We're now the 2,000th member of Real Housewives we of Hawking. We just did. We just hit that. Wow. And we members have, we on the Facebook of page crazy. waiting to go in, but we actually held up to be able to do that today and so, say that you know we mm. have now. So that picture was actually taken this week last year. Right. So, last, so congratulations, yeah, Amanda. Yeah. 1,400. Renault. Renault. More. Let's, we'll get yeah. to know you, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, that's, it's kind of neat that it's really become a community um, resource. It and, really um, is. It's, a, it's, a, it's fun. I mean, yeah. People just click it, like, what's happening? And yeah. everything from 
you know, what was that bump in the night mm -hmm. to other meteor mm -hmm. topics? Oh, that's right. Top. Where right. we had the earthquake. <laughs> that was well, the riot. Well, the coyotes. in the chamber event the other night. We, yes. were, we were promoting it on there. And then, mm -hmm. you know, that's how Sandy Little Chasey found out about it. And that's how I was reminded uh, about and, it. And people you know? were reminding about it that um, our, some of the realtors that showed up yeah, were because yeah. of Real Housewives. And it was really yep. cool to see, like, thank you for putting it up there. I got the e-blast, but I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, got and the e -blast that same ever, day. I mean, we try to promote everybody's event so if you mm -hmm. guys ever have an event oh, sure. and you want us to to yep. repost it we're always happy yeah. to do well, that darlene will be uh, pretty connected with uh, the chamber events oh, as yeah. we yes, forward. She is. so uh our woman okay. about town <laughs> <laughs> it was great having you on yeah. 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 thank you so much thank you thank uh, you for the invite schedule thank you yeah, so much sure. so what is the chamber's website uh hop hopchamber.com okay so we'll have that up on the show yep and if you have a business or anything else that is looking for scott richardson services how do you get to your so website? again you could uh our website is uh grlarchitects.com mm -hmm. okay. uh so and we're just actually we're going to be launching a new website over the next week uh, so you can take a look at the old, the current one, which oh. isn't too bad, but yeah. we're, we are improving that. Yep. And the Chamber website, we do obviously post uh, our events, events and uh, upcoming new members, yep, new new members like and so on. Um, cool. So. Well, it's been yeah. a pleasure. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Here. Thanks Thank for you being for the here. Thanks for joining us, everybody. See you next time. I'm Dr. Jerry Goodman. And I'm Dr. John Mandeville. Age-related eye diseases such as cataracts, glaucoma, macular degeneration, and diabetic retinopathy affect nearly 37 million Americans. With an aging population and higher rates of conditions like diabetes, the number of visually impaired people is expected to increase substantially in the years ahead. While age may bring on vision disorders, many conditions are preventable, and everyone at any age should take steps to maintain good eye health. Here's what you can do. Get regular screenings to check for potential problems. Take care of your overall health, know your family history, and be alert to health and vision changes that could be signs of something serious. Wear eye protection when needed, at work, playing sports, or working at home with tools, including sunglasses to guard against damaging rays from the sun. For more information on eye health and protecting your vision, visit GetEyeSmart.org.